Hello everybody, hello and welcome to the channel. As you may remember, when I bought my uh, Carrera Fury, uh, I love the bike, I mean it's a great bike, it still is, it still is a great bike, um, really good value for money, but one of the things I never liked about it was the handlebars. Um, they were too wide, way too wide, you know, they're, they're like this, way too wide, and um, also the angle, I found the angle of the handlebars, is just the ends, just too straight. I'm finding that, you know, it's, it's hurt my wrists uh, over long times I'm riding it, um, and it's given us problems with my wrist which I'll show you in a minute, um, but basically it's just basically too straight, too much of a straight angle, um, no backwards back sweep if you like, no back sweep in the, in the bars. Um, so what I've done is, first of all, as you may remember from one of the previous videos, is I raised the handlebars first with their um, adjustable, adjustable um, handlebar stem, which uh, you can lift up and you know get different heights on. Uh, I'll put a link to that up here somewhere if you haven't seen that already. Uh, but that gives you that kind of flexibility to, to you know, raise the handlebars up a little bit and down, um, just a little, just a little bracket there. A lot of people don't like it, don't like, don't like the aesthetics of it, you know, that kind of thing. It doesn't look, doesn't look good, but it works, you know, it does, it does the job. It, um, I had it on the old mountain bike, and then when I got this one, I put it on this one as well, and it just gives that a little bit of height, you know, so I can raise the handlebars up a little bit, a bit more comfortable. Uh, I mean, don't get us wrong, you understand why. The Carrera has the handlebars it has. Obviously, it's for um, you know downhill riding, more aggressive riding, you know, more technical stuff through forests and stuff that I don't usually do. So I can understand where they come from. But for my kind of riding, where I'm just along the trails and along the lines and tracks and things, it's just too, it's just too uncomfortable for me. Really too uncomfortable. So um, like I said, the first thing I did was I raised the handlebars with that adjustable stem, um, and that's helped quite a bit. But I'm still finding it difficult, as I say, with the, the back sweep, you know, with the, the way the handlebars sit. So my old handlebars are kind of like this. Um, very technical diagram I'm showing you here. <laughs> but um, the old handlebars are a bit like this, and I want the handlebars to be more like that, you know. I want it to be more relaxed, sort of, um, feel to it. Um, but what happened was, um, I said I'll show you in a minute what happened my wrist. What happened was, as you remember, I had my knee problem when I had the issue with my knee. Um, and I stopped riding my bike for a while, and this problem with wrist disappeared. And now I've started riding obviously more often again. This this problem's come back again. And I never showed you before because I don't want to show you all medical conditions. Nobody wants to see all my medical problems. Um, but what it, what it did was, I had a big lump appear on my wrist. And I don't know if it's going to see on the camera there, but if you don't can see there, can you see just here? I don't know if the camera's going to focus. If I show you there, there's a just there, there's a lump appearing on my wrist. But that last year was huge. That got up to a bolt like that. I believe, believe, honestly, that's I'm not exaggerating. I didn't like I said, I didn't show you on me on my videos last year, but it was huge, the lump. Um to the point where we ever went anywhere, people were going, What's that on your wrist? You know, it was horrendous. Um and it was basically um like a cyst, you know, like um and what it was was coming from the joint. I went to see a specialist and he said, you know, the joint is um like fluid or water, something that's coming up from the joint. He didn't say it was caused by the cycle or anything like that. He just said, you know, it can happen on people, um, and it, it sometimes goes away, or sometimes you can have knee surgery. Um, but in my case, I just left it, and I thought I'll see what happens. I didn't want to have surgery because it was quite a complicated surgery, apparently, um, and I just left it, and thankfully it healed itself and went away. But I've, made, I've just made the connection recently. I've started riding my bike again, and it's coming back again. You know, I've started riding my bike more again, I should say. Because obviously during the knee problems, I, I was hardly out my bike at all. And I was hardly out going any distance or any time. So obviously it didn't bother it. And the road bike doesn't bother it, it's just the mountain bike that seems to bother it. So I've started riding my mountain bike more and this is starting to come back again. So I thought, right, this is the time now to change these handlebars so I don't get this bad wrist again. So anyway, so that's what we're up to at the moment. That's all the medical history <laughs> me sorted. So anyway, what I've done is I've um, gone to uh, Plant X See with Planet X and seeing what handlebars they've got. And the ones I've got are the call, I've got to roll down here, so I forget, are on one uh, OG V2s, these are called. So I've got the box here. So these are the handlebars I've gone for. Now, the details on these ones, my old handlebars were 760mm width, you know, 760mm with the handlebars. These ones are 680 so already, you know, I've got that little bit less width there going on, so that should help. So, get the full wrap. And 
and these should hopefully be a lot better. Should hopefully be a lot better. So this is what we've got now. So that's the new handlebars. As you can see, um, they've got a lot more back sweep on these. These are uh, 25 degrees back sweep. So that's that part there. That's the back sweep. So that's hopefully going to give it a bit more comfortable hold on the handlebars. Um, so these, as I say, these are 600 millimeters width, where the older ones are 760. But that's the main part I'm interested in with this part here. Um, I mean, even the width of the other ones were uncomfortable, but I could get away with it. Um, you know, but I kind of get away with that straight wrist. It was just putting my wrist at a strange angle. You know, as you can see already, that's sitting my wrist normally better. Where before I was kind of like that. And I was twisting my wrist a funny way because they're just so straight through the handlebars. So these should work loads better than the other ones. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on the deer. Uh, and we're going to see what they like. Um, and I'm hopefully going to go out on the bike and try them out as well. So we're going to head outside now. I'm going to fit these on. Um, I'm going to change my old dirty clothes. And we're going to see how it goes. Yeah? So I'll see you outside in a minute. So I've come to the shed. It's quite nice yeah, actually. It's warmer than I thought it was going to be. It's only said about 13 degrees on the... Uh on the thermometer but uh, it actually feels a little warm in the sun so these are my handlebars at the moment you probably can't tell from this angle but they're just too straight you know the my arms are just way too straight and as i say it's going to start aggravating this a bit more a little lump there maybe you can see it in this light a little lump there and um, but yeah these are just too straight so the new ones are going to be like that and um, so i'm going to put them on now i think it's going to be one of those jobs actually it's going to look easy but i think it's going to be right plow because obviously you've got to take all these off all this off everything off so I think it's going to be quite a job to do but I think it's going to be worth it in the end so I'll crack on and get that done now so I've got my stand there that I made um, my trusty little stand to work with coming very handy actually and of course my plastic chair to keep my bits and bobs on so the first job is I'm going to take the grips off I'll do first which shouldn't be too difficult and then after that it's going to be the brakes um, and the dropper lever at the other side as well so that has to come off too and then this bracket here, I'm actually going to leave on the adjustable stem. Which is, this is what I mentioned before, the adjustable stem. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that on for now because the more height, the better for me, I think. Um, so I think these new handlebars, I'm not going to raise up enough really to take that off. So for now, I'll leave that on. I've still got the old stem. So if it is too high with this adjustable stem on, I can always take that off as a later date. But for now, I'm going to try it with this stem on, put the new handlebars on. So I'm going to crack on with that now. Take me death grips up to start with. These are really good, these, these death grips. Really good. If you never saw my video about making that stand, I'll um I'll put a link to that actually in here. Because it's a good little stand to make and it takes only a few minutes to make it. I think it's these, these days you can take bikes apart, can't you, just with small and keys? <laughs> getting really hot actually. I might have to put my cap on soon, folks. It's uh, getting really warm. Yeah, I had to put um, rubber tubing around uh, my handlebars to keep my crew from uh, rattling around, so I'll keep that. To put them in new bikes, I mean, I mean new bars, I mean, because I'm assuming they'll be exactly the same. I'm assuming it'll be here. Uh, and it won't be wide enough because I think they're very similar kind of where they are 31 31.8 I think it is the width the diameter of their bars so yeah so I'll have to wear put that on again and of course they're going to be the same diameter aren't they because obviously the bracket wouldn't fit so now it's time to take the brake assembly off here and um, the gears on the brakes so for this I'm actually using me trusty um, canyon torque wrench that I got free with the canyon and um, to get these bolts off because these are torqued on so they work better if I've got this to take it off so I'll put the handlebars side by side on the ground you should be able to see the difference you can see how straight these are in comparison to these obviously this is where your hand goes on the end so these ones are just too straight for my legging way too straight so these ones, when I get them on, hopefully, should be a lot more comfortable. So I've put these bolts in loosely for now. 
and you put them in diagonally when you tighten them I should say you, you tighten them diagonally so you tighten that one tighten that one tighten that one tighten one that one so it applies equal pressure and um, but I put them in loosely so there's a little thing there barcode which I'm going to use to get them as equal as I can and then I'm going to get the right then I'm going to get the right angle you know twist them around so I can get so I'm happy with how they're sitting I'm just going to get a tape measure to make sure we're then about in the middle just going to the safe side I've started to put the stuff back on I've put the um the brakes on and the gears but I haven't tightened them up yet because I put the the grips back on first so I know how much space I've got here because obviously if I tighten them up and then I put my uh, death grips back on obviously I could have run out of space so I've just put these on tighten these up and now I'm going to get these at the right angle for me hands so I'm going to do that now because obviously it's important that you can reach your brakes and they go okay and it's comfortable when you're riding as I say it might be something I've got to adjust at a later date just like I might have to adjust the angle of the handlebars but we'll see when I go for a bike ride so it feels but already that feels much better to hold much better so that's it guys that's the handlebars done as you can see I've just got the um, bracket for me crew to put on over this side uh, but everything else is back to normal I think I think it's going to be one of those things when I go along I'll probably have to um, you know check for you know make sure that's the right angle and stuff maybe even adjust the bars at some point but hopefully not hopefully I've gotten it right the first time so here we are first test drone and so far so far so good I feel absolutely fantastic to be honest with you really really comfortable I know it's a jaunty angle and a lot of you might not like that weird angle and, you know might not look aesthetically pleasing to some but maybe it's just me age but I do like me comfort these days <laughs> and so far these are extremely comfortable the only thing is my crew as you can see it's uh, you can hear rattling around there actually as well um, but that's it, a really, really jaunty angle I need to loosen that off and move that in a bit further towards the middle and I think I might straighten that up a bit um, but so far I'm very very happy with it but you can see there on my hand on the left there because obviously I can't show you both hands because we've got the camera but if you look there how more natural position that is you know I'm holding that just like a natural position for my wrist rather than being kind of like that like I was before you know I was at a weird sort of weird angle like that um, now Hope you can hear it for the wind folks because it's a bit windy here but as you can see that's much more natural position much better and hopefully it'll help with my wrist as well but yeah so far i've only done a couple of miles i'm going to do about 20 miles and um, i'm not going to go far because um, to be honest with you i shouldn't even be out really i've got lots of wedding photographs still to do kitty will be uh, knacking as if she finds out i've been out but yeah so i had to go and test out and i really had to try it out but so far so good so i've just moved that bracket along there as you can see the bit more straight of the crew there um, that bracket there was a bit like over this way and I've just moved it that way a bit um, just so that's sitting straighter because it was a bit it was a little bit annoying that was so far so good we've done a few miles or three miles gone up, gone up a hill back there feels good in the hills feels good in the flat Looks, feels fantastic so far and the height feels right as well because I've got that adjustable stem on still um, and these bars are a tiny bit higher than the last ones and it feels very very comfortable very nice of course I'll put um, the links to or the link I should say to these handlebars in the description I've got no affinity with what next anything like that but if you want to go and check them out for yourselves have a look yeah um, as I say they are a bit of a jaunty angle for the handlebars for your hands to some people that might be the case but for me that feels fantastic feels really natural I just don't know why handlebars these days are so I mean I understand obviously for maybe technical work going down hills and stuff but it's also the height you know you kind of do nothing with the height which is why you had to get that adjustable stem I have no idea why you've got such a little little adjustment on bike handlebars these days you know years ago you could adjust them quite easily but now you kind of seems to be like there's your handlebars take them that's it you're stuck with them <laughs> so I'm gonna say I do about 20 miles maybe it's a little bit under I'm not going for any big ride today I'm literally just coming out to try the handlebars out I tell you what man I can't believe I've got the brakes exactly right they're in the exactly the right angle for my hands as well I really thought 
I really thought that I'd have to come out and adjust them loads, you know, to get them just right, but I'm getting them right first time. That's gonna be a fluke, wasn't it? <laughs> no new stuff like that. Yeah, it's like when you just your seat or anything on a bike, you, you go out, you think, ah, oh, it's spot on, then you go out on your bike and think, oh no, that's terrible. Adjust again, adjust and adjust and adjust all the time, but no, I've just set it up once. The only thing I've changed since I've set off is me, Carew. Move that bracket. Um, well, that's better. I mean, it was also the slightly jaunty angle of the crew. It was always slightly a little bit jaunty there on the other bike as well, but I mean, on the other handlebars, but apart from that, yeah, haven't adjusted anything. Got everything in the right place. Amy Bell's in the right place. Fantastic. So it's all good, folks. It's all good. Another thing I've noticed with these handlebars is that I feel like the bike's more agile. I think it's turning better, more nimble, if that makes sense. Yeah, uh, going in and out there. And this is the lines, you know, they like the style things. Just feels much more easily done, if you like. Can we not describe it? Not silly, because the handlebars are only a tiny bit narrower, but it seems to make a big difference. Or it could be the shape, could be the shape, I don't know, but I definitely feel that the bike's much better to steer, much more nimble. Now I've stopped here because I know a lot of people can get a bit funny about how the bike looks with the new handlebars, so I thought I'd give you a little tour on the bike with the new handlebars on, so then you know what they look like. As you can see, they're not really uh, that much of a jaunty angle, really. But I suppose compared to the last ones, they are. And that's a view from the top. That's the view you get from the cockpit. So yeah, a little bit, well, quite a bit different to the last ones. But I don't think it makes the bike look any worse. So if anybody is bothered about aesthetics of the bike, I don't think it does any damage to it, does it really? So I've done 22 miles. By the time I get back home, it's going to be something like, um, by 25 when I get back. Um, what's, what do I think the handlebars? Well, I've got one, one regret, uh, one regret, one big regret, and that's I didn't do it sooner. I kid you not. What a difference! What an absolute difference! I tell you, if you if you're thinking about getting handlebars that are more comfortable, just do it. Just do it. Don't worry about the aesthetics of the bike, what it looks like. Don't you know? Don't suffer um, discomfort riding your bike. Um, just because you might think it might look a bit weird on your bike or anything like that, you know, try it. I mean, these handlebars cost me £15. Um, I think they were a little bit more normally. I think it was a few pounds off. They were in a bit of a sale on uh, Plant X. Um, and I actually got free delivery, which I was chuffed to bits because the delivery was going to be about six quid because I think it's quite expensive delivery sometimes on uh, Plant X. Um, but I found a code and I got free delivery. So yeah, 14 99 they cost me. Um, best 14 99 I've been for a long time, I tell you. But I've got a, an old saying, you know, if you feel good, you'll do good. You know, you'll ride good. Um, and if you feel good and comfortable on your bike, you're going to ride good and you're going to enjoy it more um, and probably have better long-term health, you know, because obviously if you're riding with the handlebars that are that uncomfortable and that jaunty angle like I had before over long periods of time, I think it could do some damage to you. Uh, but definitely get yourself a different pair of handlebars um, if you've got a pair on your bike at the moment which aren't that comfortable. Um, you know, just go for it, take the plunge, you know, for a, for a few quid, so we're certainly worth a try. Anyway, yep. Big difference, very happy, very, very happy. Should be make many, many miles more comfortable rides, I think, in the future with these handlebars. I might put some in the canyon as well. Eh? No, I'm joking. <laughs> anyway, as usual, thanks for watching us. Don't forget to subscribe, it uh, helps the channel loads. And give us a like as well, please. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Take care out there, folks. See you soon. Bye bye.